Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be me actually painting one of my collages. If you didn't know, when I was studying art, I actually specialized in oil painting. Um, so I thought it would be an interesting experiment to actually paint one of my collages and see what it would look like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, all the supplies that I'm using I actually bought on Amazon. So uh, brushes and paints. The paint that I'm using is actually acrylics and um, I decided with acrylics because it's easier uh, and because it dries a lot faster than oils. Oils will take me probably uh, a lot longer to finish this painting so yeah and I quite enjoyed them. I really love these brushes from Amazon. I think they were super cheap but I thought they were really really good quality and um, they have a variety from like let's say like medium brushes to large ones and yeah I am going to speed up this video soon because it took me about 10 hours to finish this painting over two days um, so it did take me a while even though when you do this speed videos it looks a lot quicker than it actually is but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you do if you would like me to do more of these videos uh, more of painting videos or maybe like tutorials let me know in the comments down below and by liking this video I'm happy to do them I think I'm definitely going to do more I chose this collage because it's one of my favorite ones that I did recently and as you can see I'm using a print as a reference instead of original because just in case the paint got over I didn't want to damage the original so I'm using a print um, because if something happens to it I can you know get it professionally printed again but um, yeah and the sketch I did before I recorded the video unfortunately I didn't record it while I was sketching but I just sketched out the, um, the outline I didn't do anything specific because once you put the color over it you won't be able to you know the pencil that you use will be covered anyway so you won't be able to see but at all points I always had this picture as a reference I also had it on my Mac so I could see clearly some detail if I needed to see the one challenge with painting from um, vintage photos um, is that there is not much it's not obviously high resolution as we have pictures today so it's quite hard sometimes to see so you have to go on the knowledge of where the shadow will go for the hand or something you know you have to go off your own um, reference you know sometimes I will have to look at my hand and see how that looks under the light you know and you would just ha so you would have to have some knowledge of painting when you're doing this sort of things which I hopefully do the hardest thing that I had troubles with while painting this is actually painting the earth because it's very abstract and I'm not used to painting abstract things I have always been a surrealist um, and if you're familiar with surrealist art um, you will know that even though it's quite weird and stuff, quirky, the things are painted quite realistically so there's not much abstraction into them generally speaking if we talk about someone like Brenda Magritte or Salvador Dali. But now as you can see I have switched to my uh, mobile phone camera because I thought it would be much easier for you to see from above than on the side and I hope you guys enjoy I will let you watch this video I'll put some music up so you have the whole experience and again if you would like to see more videos like this please let me know in the comments down below and I am happy to do it for you I hope you have a wonderful day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.